for us to remove ourselves, own our legal fiction, take that back and be the living men and women we are. That is ultimately the key. And the more of us that do that and know how we are speaking, where we are in our standing, that is the key. Because we can't make this fall over. All we can do is make us stand up and go, we see you. That's, the biggest thing you've got to say there is we've got to stand up. That's it. That's, that's the hardest thing. Most people will agree, oh yeah, we'll stand up and they walk out and then back to square one once they walk out. It's, I quite agree with what you're saying. I, I don't have any problem with that because they created us as a legal fiction in 1973 when they removed all the living from, our, from all their laws. They did it when we were born. No, I don't believe in that, but that's another issue. But I'm just saying that I have the black and white when they did it in 73. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sort of, that's quite right. We've, we've just got to stand up and take it back. Yeah, there's a way to do it. I'm positive. Thank you. Simple question only requires a simple yes or no, I guess. But do you believe that we will get back to our original constitution? And do you believe accordingly that when we do so, that hanging, that treason will still be a hanging offence? Treason has been taken out. Yes. So it's still a hanging offence. Yes. It's a death penalty. Whether you do it by hanging or a bullet, you're it's still on our statute books. <laughs> Either quick or slow. <laughs> hey, if you're a judge, you can decide. See, when, when, when you have a proper common law court, you have a jury. People don't realise that the jury is a judge. The jury can decide that the person you is sitting in the dock, the law that he's brought in by is not a valid law, so get it out. Finish the court case. The jury can also ask questions because just think, if you're the, one of the 12 sitting in there and you don't understand what's going on, how are you going to make a decision when you don't even understand what the hell's going on? So you can sit there and ask the questions. The judge can make a decision at the end depending on what the jury comes up with. The jury can also finalise it by dictating that this person gets fined such and such or he walks free. <coughs> The jury can make the decision. Because that's our law, yeah. common law of England. It's by the people, for the people. And the judge is adjudicator. He just keeps the peace. Not the shit we got there today, and we give them all this accreditation of think, oh, oh, you're on of this, you're on of that. There's nothing bloody honour about the bogus. At any rate, Kim Beasley. The Federal Parliament in 1990 quote, the United Nations has given the Federal Parliament a mandate of ownership of housing, property, farms and businesses to government control once the Republic had been proclaimed. They turn around and they claimed their Republic in 1985 when they took everything. And see, the, as I was saying, at that time they, we joined their system. Right. Are we down or up? We're going down. Down. Okay. These are just acts. Uh, how would you put it? The Australia Acts Request Act by all states, and then it goes down to the Australia Request and Consent Act. That's the one they sent to England. The Australia Act. In 1999, most people don't realise it, but they put every state put in another Australia Act for the referendum. Um, the thing is. We voted for a constitutional monarchy and it just wiped this whole system out. But we just got to stand up and take it out. Now, that's, that's clause five. It's a very important clause. It locks us all into the laws made. I'll read it. Clause five, operation of constitution and laws. This act and all laws made by the Parliament of the Commonwealth under the Constitution shall be binding on the courts, judges, people of every state and of every part of the Commonwealth, notwithstanding anything in the laws of any state. Now when you have these, when you have the big red book, laws of any state is the common law 
not, cannot be changed by colonial or state legislation. That's what that, those last few letter, words there mean. That's why I say that the big red book, if you go to, uh, if you got a, a, want to get one, like I bought one many, many years ago, it cost me, I think it was about 350 bucks, but I think Tim Dwyer's got a link where you can buy them for about 180 something dollars, I think it is. So you're better off going, getting in touch with Tim Dwyer, and he's got a, something to do with um, some printing place. They where you can get them a lot cheaper. Do we have a break? Has anyone got any uh, questions for Dick straight off the floor? Because we have heard a lot of information today, but I think probably <coughs> the big question in everybody's mind is the remedy. Yeah. And we've heard it today about from Dick. We've got a lot of evidence that's been put up. And part of that is that what Dick said earlier is that we need to catch the bastards out. And how we do that is exactly that. We have a council meeting coming up this Wednesday, 9 o'clock again, the Gibby Regional Council. We love holding them to account. Won't it be nice when we have the letter written up that we have our members attend one, one Wednesday morning, probably the next meeting? and we hand the CEO and the Mayor a letter of notice and give them 28 days under contract law to evict or show cause. This is where this background information that Dick has the evidence of, of what we are all about. We're not conspiracy theorists. We have evidence, we have fact. And as Dick's proven today, Every time he wants to prove that evidence to lawyers, solicitors, or current serving or past ministers or members of their parliament, they run because they don't want to know about it. But the problem is they already do know about it. And the problem is, as, as Dick said earlier, they are all acting in treason and they all know it. As Dick just said before, in response to Heather, was, it's when we stand up. We can all come here and listen and learn, but at some stage, we have to do, across Australia, what we are destined to do. And that is to get rid of these corporate infiltrators who are all about money, and not one thing about the Commonwealth. It's our job to learn this information. It is a lot to digest, but you don't have to digest it all. But what you do have to take away from here today is a conviction that enough is enough. That's what we are about. So I'm currently working in the background I've got a copy of one of Dick's letters and a couple of other Dick, uh, letters that have been written to councils. We're going to give them the information on there which provides the evidence for us, but we're not going to give them too much information because if they wish to take the people of Australia to their courts, then all of this information will have to be allowed to be shown up in the court system and they're not going to let that happen. So we have to provide enough evidence to the greater public for the greater public to go, really? This is bullshit. Because the problem is there are too many people who are kind of believing that something's not right. And all you've got to do is look at social media and I've been watching it in the last three weeks and and across Australia, anyone that mentions anything about government, government policy, anything to do with councils, there is not one positive comment on any social media site regarding them. The problem for us is we have all of this access of people who are already in belief and knowledge that something's not right, but they don't have the facts. 
So that's why it's important for us with our knowledge is that we develop a consistent letter. And remember that, for example, My Place Australia has got 166 My Places currently across Australia and growing. So what we do is we're going to be working with Dick and Alex. And we're going to get this letter up and we're going to get it so it's so sound that it is then going to be put across every My Place across Australia and every council across Australia is going to be served with these letters. What are they going to do when it's like 355 councils across Australia that get these letters of notice at once? Of course, we'll watch it on ABC radio, uh, TV, and they'll be saying all the conspiracy theorists have gone nuts now. But the beauty is, we need this to go out to the greater public. And when we start doing this, we're going to put them on notice. And then we start calling out our town meetings. And we go to businesses, because businesses are a great leverage for us. Because a lot of businesses have had a gutful of what government control, whether it be local, state or federal, and it is nothing to do with the best interests of the people of the Commonwealth of Australia, it is about what is in the best interest of gaining an income for their master. And we the people have put up with it long enough because we were lazy enough to pretend and believe that these levels of government were here in our best interest. What does the media tell you? What, you don't believe the government? They're here to look after you. They couldn't give a shit about us. And as Dick said quite often today, and I think I'll go home and use this way, is they're nothing but pieces of shit. <laughs> I think I've learned that one for today. <laughs> but I tell you what, does anyone have any questions that they would like to ask of Dick? I'll just put it in. Dick, my name is Teresa. I just was told recently that the government of all states and the continent do not want people to know that the JPs are actually justices, Crown Court judges. JP uses their seal. JP, when you get in to go and sign, you've just joined their system. And that's a seal on his, oh, that he stamps on your document. It's, it's, a lot of people are very honest people. They just don't know what they've got into. But we've got to sort of bring it to them. Like most councillors are no different than anybody here. It, it's, it's just got to be brought to their attention that what the biggest thing is, while they're screwing us, they're screwing themselves. It's the same with the police force. While they're screwing us and, and carrying on like a bag full of assholes, they're screwing us and themselves. Uh, can the seal be made up for a JP for the correct seal? Won't make any difference. Won't? He's joined their system. There is the same with all, all your judiciary. All your, this seal, the same as the one just under here, covers the governors, parliament, government, judiciary, courts, political, party acts, legal, fraternity, police. Uh, what if the JP believe that they were talking, they were taking their oath to the Commonwealth? Doesn't matter if there's nobody there with authority. You've got to have that person. That's why I say we've got seven people in this country that need to be sorted out very heavily, and that's the GG, Governor General, and State Governors. They're the ones that can receive the authority. They're the ones that can appoint the judiciary. When Section 14 was taken out in 2002-2021 in the 2001 Constitution, they removed Section 14 totally, which is referendum and trend. So it wipes the Act out, but that took away 
our system of appointing judiciary, but you still need a government to do it, representing the Crown. We, we do actually have uh, a uh, uh, Camillo. Have you heard of Camillo? I think I'll check you some information about him. He is actually um, uh, uh, made an oath to the Crown of in England and he is actually a uh, public official of the Crown, um, actually from England, and he's here. So he may have something. I mean, we could contact him and find out what his position is in all this. You've got no Crown in England either. That's the biggest problem we've got. And that's the biggest problem England's got because the Crown in England is under the European Civil Union. And that's where... Uh, I've been told I'm not by my chief cook not to say it, but that's where she should have lost her head. We went, we went from Rhodesia, we were working in South Africa, Rhodesia, and we went to England. Uh, going through Heathrow, you had two lines. Commonwealth countries are not foreigners. We went down the Commonwealth line, and we, before we knew it, we were out on the bloody street, picking up, getting a taxi. We were told we could only stay there six months. This is. 73, 74. We can only say they're six months because they were joining the European market. They joined the European market, and if you're old enough to remember, this country was built on the sheep's back. All of a sudden, we had to build bloody big warehouses to cover our wall clip because England shut us down. England joined the common market and couldn't, uh, how do you put it, couldn't buy outside the common market. Then Heath who is supposed to be, I can't prove it, but I've read articles where he's a, he, uh, he was a pedophile. He put a, a, uh, a referendum up where England joined the whole European Union, and the European Union is under civil law. And that's why Australia Act, UK, not worth the paper, it's written on. Australia Act is not worth the paper. The simple fact is, it's under European law. But what if this person did their own prior to those changes. If it's prior, if it like, yeah, prior you've got to go back a long time. Yeah. yeah. You'd have to have some around still. I My doubt father's it. 88. Pardon? My father's 88 and he got out of the just before the crash. Yeah, well, I'm still shooting yellow compared to him. <laughs> yeah. But there must be some. Well, you find them. You know what I mean? Who've taken their oath under the oath. But do they have the authority to take the oath? That's the problem. To accept it. So anyway, yeah, yeah, no. See, that's, we lost all our judiciary. Like, this whole system that we're going through should have been sorted out by our judiciary. They sold their soul when they put in the Governor General under a fraudulent um, seal. So they, they, they should have stood up then and said, hey, this is not on. But when you have the Chief Justice of our Commonwealth of Australia uh, selling his soul, it basically the Chief Justice of the Commonwealth of Australia sits over every court in Australia, in our Australia. It's, this is the thing, even Rod Callaghan said he swore he's right, the proper age, but there's nobody in this country. He didn't have somebody to swear to. You, you've got to have, it works both ways. This is locking you in when you swear an oath. Like I had a private meeting with a politician in Gansey one day. He came up from Brisbane, I had a meeting with him. It lasted, I think, about one and a half minutes. Because I talked to him about his oath, and he said, it doesn't matter who you swear your oath to, as long as you've sworn an oath. I mean, for Christ's sake, if politicians think that. Yeah. That's why they get away with the same oath. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, any last questions, then, we'll wrap up. So when Rod Carlton went over to England, the Privy Council to take his case over there, he got a positive result from there. But did he? Well, he reckoned he did. Yeah. But then Australia just ignored it. No. I've got a copy of what, what the receipt he got for his court case, or what they put into court, and it wasn't worth two bob. What they said, what they got was two different things. And his men and his system still believe in the Queen of Australia. So you've got a problem.
Uh, yeah, just a question. You said that we all got to stand up, and we understand that, um, Dick. But then the other thing is, what do we stand up behind a letter, or do we do, you know, just a bit more direction, Dick? Whoa, it's just young fella. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's the hardest thing out. It's, it's, you may have probably heard of Mike Holt. Yeah. He was doing the whole thing on common law and this sort of thing, and I was very worried with his system because he was giving people a badge and a T-shirt with on common law, all this sort of thing. Now, you give people a uniform, some people, it goes to their head. So I agreed to go to their meetings and explain to them what they were up against. They walked out. You've got to get people to understand what you stand standing up for. And that's what I'm here to try, just to get your head around. We're fighting a pen. Yep. Okay, that, their, their power is the police. Like Mick's taking stuff to the Gimpy police and he just says, I, I'm not buying anything you're selling. I don't know how the hell we get to them. I went to... Uh, I helped a lady up in Tully. She's really shoving things around. I sat in court with her, and the actual judge allowed, or the magistrate allowed me to sit there as a Mackenzie's friend. But we had worked out what we were going to do, and I would point to certain stuff on the on, on what she had to put up and, and keep her online. She would ask somebody sitting in the box a question, and if the judge didn't like it, the judge had to answer it. You, you've, and this judge had run out a number of times beforehand with this lady being in court. And it was so funny because she had a police, there was two police cops who were in the court as well, but they were just standing in, in, in normal clothing. And they had another clown there, fully geared up, sitting in front of the crowd. Now this is a, a, a country court. You don't have anything to go through to get in. All this bullshit we have when we go in the Supreme Court, they check your will out for this and that and make sure you haven't got any guns or bombs or whatever they whatever they're expecting to find. He sat in front of the crowd with his back to the people and he was protecting the court. The people are walking in and out all the time. The toilets on the outside. People are walking in and out all the time. You when you're protecting something, you sit with your back against a bloody wall. Yeah. So nobody gets behind you. These people are dumb as shit. No. You know, it's just because they wear a costume and they think they're their cops. I don't know how to get through their brain that they're what they are as mercenaries. <coughs> and when you look at... Can you pull up... Um, this is an explanation on mercenaries. Uh, it'll be under uh, go back further. Go up further, further. Two sets of books. Go up further. Oxford Dictionary. Can you pull up mercenaries, please? Okay, this is the Oxford Dictionary of Paul. This is their definition of mercenary. A person who is paid to serve with armed forces other than those of the state of which he is a national. national. British officers undertake such service commonly known as contract officers. Can you go, please? Come to the bottom. Okay, this is your police force. This is their writing. Police Service Administration Act 1990. Now, this act is done with the Royal Coat of Arms and the proper enacting manner and form, which is highly illegal, which is treason to start off with. Because in 1985, remember, we came to a sovereign, independent federal name. That's what they are. And this is how they do things slowly, slowly, so you, you don't really understand what's happening. Police Service Administration Act 1990, part four, Commissioner of the Queensland Police Service. Section 4.3, Conditions of Appointment. One, the conditions on which an appointment of a commissioner is held from time to time B, are to be governed by a contract of employment made, taken or made between the Crown and the Commissioner. 5.11, 
conditions of employment for pl of police recruits. The conditions of employment for of a police recruit from time to time be to be governed by contract of employment made or taken to have been made between the Crown and the recruit. Now the word Crown, they changed the definition. In uh, 2000, 2001 Constitution, they took out Crown, put in the word State. State means executive government. So this is why I couldn't understand why Crown were taking me to court to shut me up. They were working for the executive government. They weren't working Crown. It's just, a, it's just a con of names, changing definitions. It is, it is a, just a real bloody con job. And so that Crown there, between the Crown and the recruit, that's between the executive government. They are, all they are is this mercenaries for the executive government. All right, last question. Yeah, Dick. Um, thanks very much for your wonderful explanation this afternoon to all the Commonwealth Acts. My question to you is, as a property owner in Queensland, <laughs> is there anything physical, practical or whatever I can do to strengthen my piece of ED paper that I hold to say that I own the property? They don't recognise it. And, and if you get to a lawyer or anything like that, they will shred it. So please don't. Put it aside, get it copied, and whatever you can do, keep it. If you've got a proper property seal, put it aside, get it photocopied or whatever, but don't get a lawyer or anybody near it. Okay. It's just a simple fact. It's a sovereign independent federal nation, and like as I said before with the Commonwealth, they create the um, Act, whatever it was, uh, Act. Huh? No, no, the X is for the land. When they turned around and took out the uh, Governor General and they turned around and changed the definition of land from yards to metres, we joined that system in 1985. And they're, they're pushing it. It's not, it's, I don't know how you get around it. We, this is the biggest question you ask. It's, how, what do we do? But, I'm just trying to get the information out so more people can get their head around it. Like in, the, in this system, I had, a, I had a farm up in Far North Queensland, just outside of Mirawinnie. They turned around and tried, we got a, the council then, this is in 1992, and we didn't know nothing about what I've gone through here today. They wanted to take the back of our farm for World Heritage Buffer Zone. And I said, hang on, you can't walk in here and just take what you want. I own the bloody place. So we had a fight with the council. And we, in those days we had Tom Pine was our councillor, our mayor, and I could ring him up and he would talk to me. He would come, I could go into his office and see him. I've done it a number of times. At any rate, after a few meetings, and I uh, got told by other farmers that I can't talk to public servants the way I talk to them. So that eventually we got to the end meeting, and uh, they apologised to us and said, no, we've treated you very badly and we'll, we'll back off. But in 1992, they took our ownership, 1991 I think it was, they took total ownership of our land. All land in Queensland. Not just my bloody land. All land in Queensland. And then you had the Greenies saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, the water board, you know, you've got to register the board, you've got to pay for your water. All this crap was going on. So that was the start of the shit. And once you start bucking the system, then if they just left me alone, I would still be farming and playing silly folks on farm. But because I kept fighting and because we argued, their idea was we've got to shut you down, and that's why Crown Law took me to court because I was using seals. And people were saying seals don't mean just jack shit. Do you know that in, 90, in 2021, when they changed this seal, which is the royal, has a royal warrant, to this seal, they removed this seal out and put this seal in even though they've been using it since 1991, 
This is 2001, the 2001 Constitution. They turn around, that is life imprisonment with hard labour. So if you think it's just bullshit seals, think again. Because that, by changing that, that whole parliament had life imprisonment with hard labour. So we got everything on our side. And then if you go into it more, like the gentleman there, he's got the he's got an original copy for his title. That's changing, stressing her title that day. They, in a system, they've oh shit, it's in it's in treason, but. They, they put her in a corner and put the Queen of Australia on top of her, which is straight out treason. So this is why it's, it's not an easy fight. They're sitting there with a bloody noose around their necks. We've got to get enough guts to stand up and start pulling that bloody noose. What a, what a great way to finish, I think. <laughs> just, before we, about to, just before we finish, your local government, can we go back to the local government act, please? Okay, your Local Government Act of 1973. It's got the seal that doesn't mean jack shit on it. It's copyrighted. And in it, it says Local Government means a local government established under this Act. For Christ's sake. That means from 1973 forward. They keep telling you we've had councils all our lives. Of course we have. But not established under this Act. That one sentence wipes it out. Just read the English. It says, as government established under this Act. We don't have a local government for us. The local government we've got today is just an extortion racket. Yeah. And when we started fighting with the government, the local government, I started getting my head into law. Uh, we were working day and night. I, I, run, I had owned an orchard, a couple of thousand trees on it. You get up, you go to bed at two o'clock at night, get up in the morning, it's daylight. And our daylight up there doesn't, it doesn't change much. We, we, our daylight journey starts around six, half five, six o'clock. One morning I cut the end of my finger off and I said to the chief cook, we've got to do one or the other. And I said, if they take over our land, we've got nothing. So we must fight for the land. And that's basically what, what my, my story is. And it's very simple when you read it. Establish that word there. Nobody reads. That means it starts bloody now. Fuck the rest of the time. Thank you. Everyone put your hands there for Jean Yardley, please. All right, so if anyone did bring a USB other than Rainer, we'll um, organise to download the information today if you've got a USB. Um, I will have that information so in future meetings if people want that information I'll, I'll be able to download it for you in future. Um, just a couple of quick notices. Um, one, I'd like to thank Kat for our beautiful sign that she's put up so that we can register all of our information on there. What great handiwork. So in there, that's where we'll be putting up community flyers, any meetups that are going to be occurring. So you'll be able to peruse that um, up during every meeting before or after um, from today. And those clips around the back are for business cards. Anyone who would like to put their business card up on there, please feel free to put them up there and we will um, support you. Um, the booklet that Mick has in his hand, where do we go and get that, Mick? Go to JPEG. Go to Tony Parrott's office, and he will issue their booklet. 
on I don't their know one constitution of this, but for us. Click onto it and then we'll um, just keep running through. We also have uh, another speaker for That's the next right. meeting. No, click onto it. Is Cyril Burke from no. EMF Busters. The JPEG. Um, no. Cyril's going to be describing to everybody about no. the hazards of EMF, but also ways to protect and screen. shield ourselves. So that's going to be so just click on one JPEG and then just the click on through. Um, so for those who can, can, we have the Council meeting next Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have the Council meeting this Wednesday at 9am in Town Hall. So we're going to be paying a little bit of attention to them because the last meeting they actually mentioned that how long is it till caretaker mode? They're already wanting to go on holidays. They want to get away from the spotlight. Well, we're not going to let them. So we're going to keep the pressure on them. And we're going to learn everything that we can. Plus what we've learned from Alex and from Dick today, we are developing something that's going to put a lot of pressure on them very, very soon. And we are going to beat them at their system. And like Dick said, we have to stand up. So has anyone got any final statements they want to make before we have a tea, coffee and a cake? I would just like to suggest that when you get to the point where you don't know what else to do, for those who are interested in praying, I would suggest to pray. And the other thing is that adage if you want to change the world, change the way you think about it. And if we could collectively think of, of uh, a community that is uh, free and uh, clear and, and in peace, working in peace and harmony, that might go a long way down. Yeah. Absolutely. Now to the people, isn't it? So there's another message that um, Trevor's just going to give out that uh, supporting one of our farmers at the moment. If anybody lives in some grass-fed beef, it's all been uh, chemical-free, re uh, grown and regen pasture, just come and see me and I'll put you in a contact here. You've got to take either side or a quarter of it. It is available if anybody's interested. Just talk to you later. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Trip. So, um, if everyone's out to some quality meat, that's good. Uh, before we go, I've just got this. This is our governors, each and every one. This is Walter Campbell, or at least to be Sir Walter Campbell. He is a treasonous piece of shit that signed off on put our Australia, uh, Australia, Australia, uh, Australia Request Act 1985 on, signed it off. Now, these are all our governors. They're all sitting in total treason. They're all appointed under that public function we see, I showed you before. It's got no, they've got no Crown authority. They're just sitting there. I don't know what you would call them when they're sitting there, but they got, they're not for us and they're not for the, they're just sitting in treason. Now, they have been appointed by the Parliament, not by the, they, they've got no authority whatsoever. They're, Seal here is what they're appointed under. It's what they call the public seal of the state. It's for the political parties. And they put that seal over the commission, which then they can turn around and take the governor of the state. So if, you know, our governors, we should be pulling them all out and putting a noose around their necks as well. Well, right, thank you very much, Dick. Let's give him another round of applause, please.
It's just a whole fall. Yeah, yeah. This is a thing. That's his? Yeah, this is his. Oh, right. So that's the one that he's having to Yeah. 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 Yeah.